Hello, YouTube fam. How y'all doing? It's your Uncle Tim. This is Uncle Tim Rants and Reviews, the channel where I rant and I review. And today, we're going to have real talk. It's a lot of us out here that are stressed the hell out during the holiday seasons because we feel that we can't always get everybody what they want or we forgot this person or we forgot that person or, you know, what? we're not living to the hallmark expectations of what the holiday is supposed to be. You know, we're not in here caroling and here making cookies and the dinner and the tree and all that stuff. Man, you know what? Live your best life. The thing that I was thinking, fam, that stressed me out was because I was like, man, everything is not the way I want it to be. But the hell with all that. I'm serious. The hell with all that. Look, life, you know, don't always give you what you want. You make what you want out of life. If you get lemons, make lemonade. I'm dead serious, fam. Don't sit there and be like, well, you know, I don't know what to do. Shit, make a lemon pie. Do something. But don't sit there and just take shit. You know, my point is, all of this stuff, we were hollering and complaining about hobbies and every damn thing else and not being able to find stuff. You know, I've been getting, you know, messages from everybody because, you know, I gave people the email to talk to me with. And, you know, they've been like, Unc, you know, I can't find shit in the store, so I'm looking online. I'm finding stuff that I want online. Hey, Unc, you know, this ain't working right here, so I'm starting to do this, Unc. I'm starting to understand what you're talking about. If you see something online, you know, for $29.99 and, you know, or $24.99 and it's $24.99 on Hasbro Pulse, if you don't get a membership, and I keep telling people, if you don't get a membership on Hasbro Post, you got to pay taxes and shipping. If the person on eBay is uh, talking about free shipping and all you got to do is pay taxes, you're coming out easier. You're coming out cheaper. People don't see that. Um, my biggest thing, fam, is know your limitations. I'm serious. Know your limitations. Know when to pull back. If you're not feeling comfortable with the situation or collecting at that particular point, stop for a minute. Don't let something stress you the hell out. Like I talk to everybody about your hobby supposed to bring you joy. It does. But it's also going to bring you grief. That's just the way of the damn world. And I was feeling that way because I said, damn, how is it that my hobby is bringing me grief? How am I feeling upset about shit? Why am I angry about shit? Because I realized, just like with my kids, I love the hell out of my kids, but my kids make me mad. I get disappointed in my kids. But these are grown-ass men, so I can't get disappointed because they're living their best life. They're not doing what I may want them to do, but hell, they're living their best life. They don't need me to pay none of their bills. They're doing it their damn self. So, fam, I'm sitting here thinking to myself, I said, self, where are we going with this? What what am I what am I thinking? The reason why I brought all that up to you is because if you thinking your hobby is gonna be some cure all, it's not. It's not on get you out of your problems, your everyday life. It's just gonna you know ease the pain a little bit. You know what? That's what I always tell everybody. You know, people tell me that their movies are escape. I say, get some, if you going through some shit, you know, I'm serious. If you're going through some real shit and you don't want to think, if you don't want to use this, you're going through a lot of shit, watch a dumbass movie. Watch a movie that is a comedy that don't make no damn sense. Make it whereas you do not have to think whatsoever. If you don't have to think whatsoever, fam, it will help ease all the stress you got going on. This is why, you know, a lot of people indulge in TV. And, you know, people say, oh, that's not good for me. You know, people using it as an escape. Sometimes you do need an escape. Sometimes, shit, your life, your problems, shit, sometimes they swamp you. Sometimes you need that little break, that breath to get you to be like, wait, hold on. But if I do this, I can do this now. Bingo. This is not what we think. And a lot of us think that, you know, everything is going to be the way we want it. We crying, we screaming, we hollering. Fam. Damn. You know, I had so many people complaining about snow and all of this. Now flights getting canceled. Now they upset, you know, because of the wind and every damn thing. You wanted something. Now it's here. They canceled 500 damn flights the other day. Even though <laughs> I couldn't understand. I don't see the snow to do this. 
but the weather was jacked up. Fam, like I say, sometimes you got to take the good with the bad. And this is what I've been doing. I, you know, my tree went up late. You know, um, like I said, the trip to Poland, it was further than what it was before. You know, before the trip was like in like September. It was pushed back this year to like October. So usually in October, fam, I usually had a tree up after Halloween or before Halloween in the middle of October because, you know, I like to have a tree up. Then, you know, it's not lit up until like around November. I start looking for presents, but I shop all year round. But this year, fam, it was some reason. It was some other stuff going on. <laughs> and you sit back and you think and you laugh because you're looking at all the shit that's happening. And you're trying to think to yourself, damn, how do I fix all this? How do I make this work? How do I not make that work? Fam, I've been stressing and thinking and trying to actually come up with some ways to do stuff. And uh, when it came down to the hobby stuff, you know, I said I might have to leave some of this alone for a while because, you know, this is becoming a little too much, fam. And, you know, I'm a whole grown ass man. Just like all of you all are whole ass grown adults. You stopped and thought about it, too. You was like, man, maybe I need to quit for a minute. You know, I need to uh, regroup. You know, I need to think about what the hell I'm going to do. I, I need to think about where the hell I'm going to get space at. You notice I changed the Thundercat shelf back here and it got Serpentor and all of them on there. Man, you know what? I took the Thundercats down, you know, the Power Rangers and, you know, the Fortnite figures and sat them on the floor for a minute. Because I'm like, man, please. You know, one thing about Thundercats that made me mad, man, was they were good for a minute. But as slow as they roll out, fam, eh. it's like, uh, you know, shit, I could have had five Lionos right now. I'm serious. <laughs> They've been so damn cheap. You know, they, you know, I, I buy loose figures and, you know, people selling them for $19.99 and free shipping on eBay. If you look hard, you can find everything you're looking for. They were selling Panthro. They were selling Mumra for like $29.99. And people like, uh, uh, these figures should be a dollar because they're loose. Fam, I'm going to tell you something. Mom and pop stores where I live, they're selling them the same damn price, if not l more than when they were in the package because some figures are hard to find. I don't give a damn if they are loose. It's real talk, fam. You know, understand your hobby. Understand what it is that goes on with the hobby, fam. You know, everybody be hollering and screaming, talking about, oh, the value goes down when you take them out the package. No, it don't. The value pretty much stays the same. There are people who collect in package and there are people who collect outside of package. You know what? You selling to people who collect outside packaging. You don't pretty much get the same price. I haven't met one mom and pop store that sold figures for like two or three dollars. They sell like common figures, you know, things that people got a ton of, you know, those are the figures they sell for cheap. But the figures like. Shit. You got Jetfire back there. He's a Transformer. You know, now he's outside the packaging. War for Cybertron. His ass won't go for $10. He's going to go for damn near the same price he went for while he was still in packaging. Because it's real. Because people still want it. It's still sought after. Fam, don't let nobody confuse you, making you think that shit is like um, a dollar. You know, I've been hearing... This is why I put prices up now and show you that how much people are selling stuff for and how much the worth and value in certain things are you ain't don't get you know <laughs> you not don't get quality figures for nothing fam nobody doing that and when people telling you that figures are like a dollar a piece or you know no nah, that figure on clearance where is it on clearance at each time that i ask a person where's all this on clearance where's this Price that nobody give you an answer because, again, at the end of the day, people are just capping. They want you to believe that shit is free. Shit ain't free. Shit would never be free. You know, for the life of me, people just need to get out of their damn feelings and understand. You know, inbox and out of box at the same day, time, people may want to hear it and people may not. Shit, I can't sit here and 
Leave shit in boxes. It don't make sense to me. I used to have stuff in boxes on pegs. Everything was boxed up. And after a while, I'm like, what the hell is all this? I started taking the shit out of the boxes. And it made so much sense to me once it came out the boxes. I was happy. I was able to touch the figure and, you know, pose the figure and put it in the stance that I wanted it. But inside the box is just in the box. I can't inspect the figure inside the damn packages. What? I can't look behind the figure to see if everything is painted right. The only way you're going to see that and know that is if you take it outside the damn box. You know what? <laughs> Shit is real. Fred is dead and people just sit back and just tell you any damn thing. You know, that's the fun thing about having stuff outside the boxes. You get to maneuver it the way you want. You get to put it in places that you thought you never would. You know, as far as like the planes, the XL-15s, I got them sitting in the back, back here looking, you know, ominous, you know, looking like they're about to take off. Fam, you know what? Man, I was going to actually um, customize those and just paint them. And you know what? I looked at it like this. I don't even need to do none of that. It made me happy. It made me happy just to have it the way I got it. You know, shit works and leave it the way it is. You know, you got to make shit work. <laughs> Real talk, fam. You know, I just been sitting back listening to people tell me some everything. But you know what? Don't let people do that to you. <laughs> Peace out, fam.